So what do we do about it? Um, I would first say um, I don't like the idea of, of talking about people in groups. It used to be it used to be considered rude to refer to people as black or brown or something as individuals. It used to be considered um, a way of thinking you thought you were better than them, you, were, you referred to them that way. It wasn't as bad as the N-word, but it used to be thought of that way. Back in the 90s, in the workplace, you were simply not supposed to mention race at all. You were supposed to be absolutely neutral. You were supposed to behave as if you were abso absolutely neutral. Back in the 80s, and, and well, in the 80s, it was getting like that. And in the 90s, particularly. So you weren't, weren't supposed to mention, you were supposed to be absolutely neutral. And all of a sudden, people want you to be conscious. They want you to believe um, you have an identity as a white person, as a racial, whether you want to or not. And they have an identity, and they want you to make something of that. And that really confuses things. Um, so what I get concerned about, you know, is I look at my own situation, and as I look at um, what I've said, you know, my own domain name expires at the end of 2021. Um, I know my setup online is not very transparent to a lot of people. I also know that I have sometimes been able very surreptitiously to influence the outcome of, of two or th three or four very critical things that were going on because I was able to contact the right people or get the right people to read things I had written. And sometimes things I said or wrote online or actually made a difference in policy that was adapted. You know, I don't have large numbers, unlike um, unlike um, most people who make a money online, particularly on YouTube. Um, I have a much older model based mostly on blogs and flat websites like this one. Um, and I got into it when I wrote the books in 1997. I just got into this through the search engine issue. So I've had a sort of hidden influence. Now, a lot of people think that may be anti-democratic. And in fact, around 2005, there was a lot of controversy over whether bloggers were, in, um, sh were influencing politics or illegally whether campaign finance reform should regulate what bloggers were allowed to do because their influence on pol politics might not be transparent. Now that blew over, but that cr created an incident when I was substitute teaching um, at West in 2005, which I talked about elsewhere. So I'm familiar with this. So it would be very, very believable to me that I could be asked, you know, if you want to have, you want to continue to have websites or something, you want to be online, you have to do something about this problem. You have to join in and raise money to do something about this problem, particularly um, the systemic racism. You have to become, you have to join the anti-racism movement or something if you want to be online. It's conceivable to me that it could go in that direction. Um, all the because these are private companies, they, they feel this pressure. Or what's more, makes more sense, is that you should be, have to demonstrate that you have some social credit. Um, there's talk, there's David, David Brooks had an op-ed recently about this, and what he thought was um, national service would be a way to handle, for example, the reparations issue and and tone down the rhetoric over race. And um, if everybody did something and spent two years actually living with people who were less well off than they are and, and mingling with them socially, um, and then that that might change a lot of things. And in fact, you could say the same thing. You could expect that at different times in your life. You could expect that of people that are retired that are like me. The end result of that would be that online, for example, I would have less contact with people. I have a lot of contact with young adults right now online. I don't have very much contact with people my own age in terms of meeting needs 
I, I don't watch anybody else's back and I don't have anybody to watch my back. You know, I do my own shopping and everything and even though I'm 76 years old, I'd be expected to pay a lot more attention to local things, which of course is where COVID is having, is pushing us anyway, because as this epidemic winds down, what's going to happen to the airlines? Are people going to be allowed to fly around all the time the way they used to um, and have the kind of lifestyle that is kind of separate, you know, so we could be headed back to a much more tribal lifestyle, but then that kind of feeds back, that could feed back this whole identitarianism problem that we're seeing again. So I think there's a real, there is a real problem down the road, um, even for me, um, as you get into 2021. Um, but there's, there's an inherent parallel between my using my own mark the way I have and people wanting, you know, for gays in the military, you know, basically, you know, more than 10 years ago, and people wanting to use Black Lives Matter as a word for getting you involved in doing your part in ending a past um, injustice that probably gave you privilege that you didn't earn. But again, it distracts from paying attention to some of the other problems that cause economic inequality and some of the other problems where your social capital and your own social credit it's a lot more complicated than just race. So I wanted to leave these things out, lay these things out, so that's my pitch for today. Um, I'm going to be doing some blog posts pretty soon about why I am relatively um, isolated socially. I don't have a lot of inter interactions with other people um, on the basis of their needs. and That's something I've become much more aware of. I have my own lifestyle and it works for me. And I'm able to influence things, but I'm not very popular. And so I'm dealing with that now. So I'm going to have some posts pretty soon that give you some more reasons in my background. Some of them are pretty subtle. Some of them come from my book, uh, my third book particularly, but I'm going to be doing doing that pretty soon and and so this debate will continue.